Welcome to Burnside Highlights for the 26th of July 2023 and I'm here in the sunshine in Austral Park as our staff are planting about 150 new rose bushes to beautify this lovely little area. If you're wondering what is happening in our Civic Centre car park, it is the installation of four new electric vehicle charging stations as part of a statewide infrastructure initiative by the RAA and state government. They are ultra rapid chargers with an output of 200 kilowatts, capable of charging an electric vehicle in 10 to 20 minutes and suitable for all EV plug types. Thank you to all of those who are involved in school holiday programs in our various centres. The library continues its great work with local history help on Monday afternoons from 1.30 to 4.30 on July the 31st and right through August. If you can't make it to one of these sessions, you can send an online request to our historical and cultural officer by going to our website. Have you tried the library of things yet? You can try new equipment, get one-time tasks done, or practice new skills before deciding to invest in more kitchen items. You can borrow up to two library of things items at any one time for four weeks at a time as a standard loan period. An evening with John Ovenden will be entertaining as he reflects on his 55 years of life in the media. John will share stories of having interviewed some of the world's biggest movie stars and who has worked in 10 different countries. And that's on August the 3rd from 6.30 to 7.45. Book online. Armchair Craft continues on Tuesday afternoons from one to three in the Civic Centre with tea and coffee provided. Bring your craft projects and enjoy the company of other crafters for an hour or two. There are things happening in Hazelwood Park too, in the George Bolton Swimming Centre. When it reopens in October, there will be new additional changing facilities within the centre. Two new school changing areas and two new DDA or Disability Compliant Family Change areas. I'll keep you up to date with progress over the next couple of months when we are able to get into the building to show you the redevelopment. The revamped Dulwich Community Centre is also taking great shape and nearing completion around the same time as the pool redevelopment. There are some great events at the Regal next week. On Wednesday night, the 2nd of August at 7 p.m. is a special screening of Slant. That was the winner of the Best Australian Film at Monsterfest and it stars Sigrid Thornton. There'll be a Q&A after the film with cast and crew and be blown away on Thursday, Friday and Saturday at the four Tina Turner tribute shows at the Regal, starring Rebecca O'Connor, entertaining simply the best. Some limited tickets are still available. South Australian Living Artists Festival is on in August and Pepper Street has its remake exhibition. It features upcycled, recycled and reused objects by over 40 artists in mixed media. The launch for this is on this Sunday at 2 p.m. Have your say on the online survey on Council's website about declaring an alcohol-free zone at Tusmal Wading Pool. Council is proposing to implement a seasonal dry zone to prevent alcohol consumption within the fenced area of the pool to ensure the safety of users and prevent closures due to glass breakage. While I'm here in Hazelwood Park, Carol's in the park. We'll be back again this year on Friday the 8th of December from 5 p.m. Like last year, Council will be creating a unique experience which includes an outdoor movie suitable for children after the end of the concert. So place this date in your calendar. Until next time, enjoy the limited sunshine.